Hello my fellow investors and welcome back to another earnings report analysis. Today guys, let's actually take a look at the earnings report for the company American Water Works. I just put a stock analysis when it came to this company today and again guys, they did have earnings report so I would actually like to compare this to 2021 and maybe see if at the current share price of $145.35 it is a good price to buy now seeing that the earnings report may actually bump up that initial price that we did yesterday because if you didn't see the video guys basically it came in as a little bit expensive so with that said let's get started with this analysis so now guys we're over here at american waters third quarter 2022 results and like always i will have this in the link in the description below just so that way if you guys want to read it it is fairly fairly lengthy so if you guys want to read it i will have it just so that way you guys can do so at your own time and remember before we get started with any of this guys Remember that this is not financial advice and that every investment is the present value of all future cash flow. So let's get started with this. Third quarter, 2022 earnings of $1.63 per share compared to $1.53 per share in 2021. Year to date, 2022 earnings of $3.70 per share compared to $3.40 per share in 2021. Quarter and year to date results as compared to the prior year reflect an estimated favorable impact due to weather of seven cents per share and four cents per share, respectively. Invested $1.9 billion year to date and added 79,300 customer connections year to date through close acquisitions and organic growth. Total capital plan on track to invest approximately $2.5 billion in 2022. And lastly, the company's Pennsylvania subsidiary entered to an agreement to acquire the wastewater system of the Butler Area Sewer Authority for $231.5 million, which will add approximately 14,700 equivalent customer connections. So as you can clearly see, guys, they didn't do too bad when it came to all of this, honestly. You know, it pretty much is showing that when it comes to growth, they are making some very good acquisitions that are making them grow, as well as the organic growth on top of that. So it's actually not too bad overall. Now, continues on to read 2022 earnings guidance ranges of $4.39 to $4.49 per share affirmed on weather normalized basis. Year to date results included an estimate of six cents of favorable weather as compared to normal. Initiating 2023 earnings guidance range from $4.72 to $4.82 per share affirmed long term EPS, which is a growth of 7 to 9%. Now, let's actually take a look at a few quotes from the CEO. We got here We made a great progress in executing our regulatory and acquisition strategies these last few months, says Susan Hardwick president and CEO of American Water, achieving settlements in the rate cases in our two largest jurisdictions, New Jersey and Pennsylvania, is a constructive step forward for our customers and our operations in each state. We also announced a few weeks ago an agreement to acquire assets serving another nearly 15,000 wastewater customers in the western Pennsylvania. We look forward to completing the transaction in 2023. We remain firmly on track for a strong finish to 2022 and look forward to continuing to deliver on our strategies in 2023, said Hardwick. So yeah, guys, amazing, amazing guidance overall. And this actually translated into a very, very good share price movement post-market when these earnings came up. However, I would actually like to come down here and take a look at these revenues because I actually would like to see them. Now, it's actually fairly surprising because everything that we just saw is looking fairly, fairly good. Let's take a look at these revenues and of course incomes as well. So we got here guys, operating revenue, 2021, $1.092 billion, 2022, $1.082 billion. So that was actually a decrease guys when it comes to operating revenue. Now operating income did go up a significant amount, 417 million to 439 million. And when it comes to the weighted average common shares outstanding guys, they've actually kept it roughly the same from 182 to 180. 82. And then let's actually see how these earnings affected the stock price. Now, as you can clearly see throughout the day, guys, it was actually down at 0.41%. However, post-market, guys, when these earnings came out, AWK rose a whopping 3%, almost 3%, 2.86%, to $4.16. Now, on the one year, guys, they're still down 16.32%. Year to date, they're down 21.07%, 52-week ranges of 122 
to $189.65. And remember, when it comes to utility company guys, because they do not have any cash flow that we can actually calculate, any free cash flow that we can calculate, we essentially have to use book value per share guys. And if you all remember from my video from yesterday, the price divided by the current book value guys, it is 3.49 points. And based off of the price divided by the current tangible book value, it is at 4.11 points. Essentially saying that the price to AWK should be worth at $41.64 for the book value and $35.35 for the current tangible book value. Unfortunately, for the current share price, guys, as we just saw of $145.34, actually to go up a significant amount, $149.50, it's still telling me that it is fairly, fairly expensive. Now, obviously, they did have really, really rosy earnings report. However, in my personal opinion, when it comes to this, guys, that is still a massive, massive premium to pay for this kind of company. If this was like at around like 1.5 points, then I would be like, okay, that's kind of understandable, like 1.25, but 3.5 and then 4.11 to me that's still very very expensive overall and i just personally would want to wait for the, either the company to drop or find another company another utility company that meets these requirements and remember guys they do have pretty solid fundamentals overall going through them really quick net income increase of 205 percent on the five year when it comes to the revenue this was another increase of 14 percent on the five year fairly consistently increasing as well shares outstanding actually increasing a little bit not too much though at two percent as is minus liabilities guys it's actually increasing very very nicely in fact i gave this one a perfect score with an average assets minus average liabilities of 6.5 four five a billion dollars in the difference and with all of that guys i gave the total grade for awk an 86 percent so again it really just depends up to what you believe this company will go to in my personal opinion though guys 3.49 points and 4.11 points it is very expensive for me personally and i would just like to go to another company that may be a better value when it comes to what i am getting in return and that pretty much does it guys for this video like if you like comment subscribe it really does help her with the algorithm on youtube as always please remember that this is not financial advice this is the reason why i have all these calculators available for everybody as always and i will have the earnings report the first link in the, in the description just so that way you guys can read it as well so with that said guys one more time thank you so much for subscribing like if you like comment subscribe it really does help her with the algorithm on youtube you guys can follow me on my new tech sites link in the description below so with that said peace out and i will see you all in the next stock analysis video as well as earnings report and tomorrow guys tuesday it is when amd has earnings report so that's gonna be a fairly fairly interesting video indeed